vendetta against smoothies. They're often disguised as these healthy saviors, when in fact, they aren't. Well, at least not as much as we believe. I'm wary of these clever marketing tactics that are strategically meant to deceive us. And don't even get me started on fruit juices because they are perhaps much worse. And I'll admit, I'm a lover of a tasty smoothie myself. But it's high time we had an honest chat about the downsides of these seemingly virtuous drinks while also shedding light on any potential perks that they bring to the table. In a world where time is scarce and meal skipping has become commonplace, portable nutritious options have never been more enticing. For juice and smoothies even masquerade as weight loss aids all while flaunting their low calorie credentials. But we simply must not ignore the art of deception that often accompanies juices and smoothies. Their vibrant colors and enticing labels of fresh and natural have ensnared many a health conscious soul. So let's unravel this illusion. One of the biggest drawbacks of fruit juices and smoothies is their high sugar content. An emerging body of research suggests that fruit juice can be as detrimental as sugary sodas. At least with the soda, you know you're being unhealthy, but the fruit juice has you thinking you're making the right choice when in fact it often isn't. And it's not only the sugars. Fruit juice and smoothies are often packed with more calories than you expect. And we all know that excessive sugar intake is linked to an increased risk of heart disease and stroke. In fact, some research suggests that drinking juice for breakfast might even contribute to obesity. Let me ask you a question. What do you think is easier to digest? An apple or an apple juice? Obviously the apple juice, right? Liquid forms of fruit like juice and blended smoothies are easier and quicker for your digestive system to process. This rapid digestion can result in a more immediate release of sugar into the bloodstream, causing a spike in blood sugar levels. If you often feel moody or tired after eating sugar, it's not in your head. Sugar causes a quick rise in serotonin levels. This rise causes an energy boosting spike which can make you feel more awake and alert. However, it is only short lived. So after serotonin levels peak, they quickly decrease, which causes you to feel irritable, moody and lethargic. Plus, too much sugar will cause your body to release insulin to help regulate the glucose levels. If our body produces too much insulin in response to a sugar spike, it can cause our blood sugar levels to drop, leading to feelings of fatigue, weakness and hunger. This is commonly called sugar crash. It is reported that these mood swings and cravings is the same kind of cycle experienced by drug addicts. But hold on, before you swear off fruit juice entirely, there is a silver lining. Fruit juice isn't all bad. It can provide vital nutrients, especially if you're not eating enough whole fruits. In fact, studies have shown that moderate consumption of 100% fruit juice is associated with a lower risk of stroke, heart disease, and cognitive decline. So what exactly is moderate consumption? Well, according to the article, you should aim for about five ounces per day, which is roughly equivalent to 140 milliliters. So the key here is moderation. So what should you use instead of fruit juice and smoothies? Well, the answer is quite simple. Opt for whole fruits instead. Whole fruits are packed with dietary fiber and tend to keep you feeling full for a longer period of time. Plus, when you consume whole fruit, the sugars are absorbed into your body at a slower and steadier rate. I'm sure you're wondering, which of the two is the healthier option? Fruit juice or smoothies? In general, smoothies are often considered healthier than fruit juice due to their retention of natural fiber. You see, most smoothies, especially if you make them at home, have two parts, the juice and the pulp. The pulp, which is not included in juice, has the fiber. Smoothies also typically contain a wider variety of nutrients and they incorporate both whole fruits and vegetables. And the key word here is typically. Plus the fiber in smoothies help you feel full faster, which aids in portion control. It's essential to know that not all fruit juice and smoothies are created equal. Some are made with whole fruits, including the fiber, while others may include added sugars or syrups, which can further contribute to sugar spike. If you do 
enjoy fruit juice or smoothies, consider moderation and balancing them with other foods that have fiber and protein to help stabilize your blood sugar levels. Plus, homemade smoothies that incorporate whole fruit is preferable. What do you prefer, smoothies or fruit juice or both? Let me know in the comments. This video in no way means that you need to give up on your favorite beverages, but it should make you realize that things are often not as healthy as they seem. That everyday choices can have a negative impact on your wellness goals. Consider it a gentle nudge to be more vigilant and to read labels. If you're truly committed to your wellness journey, you'd want to check out this video next.